racing. Your championship leader, Ethan Sparks, lining up on pole position. It's all about what he can do ahead uh, of Ronnie Harris, who is uh, currently his championship rival in this one. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be uh, very much Ethan Sparks needing to pick up a good result to uh, keep pushing the points and putting the pressure on Ronnie Harris, because Ronnie needs to make up 36 points in this championship. And uh, Ethan Sparks looking at making it a double podium in 2020 on both the Mini Moto and on the Metro Kit bikes. And he'll be lining up from pole position with Ollie Horner who equally had a very good qualifying put himself in second place he's picked up two poles and a, uh, a second front or a third uh, front row start of the season four podiums all third place finishes for Ollie he'll be looking at picking up a uh, perhaps a first second or even a win but to do so he's got to get past that man the 62 Ethan Sparks and uh, it's gonna be once again, like we've just seen from the extremes, that these riders have made their way up into the British, British Talent Cup that maybe have a little bit more experience than these MKGP50 riders. They've got to be careful out there in these conditions. Yeah, absolutely. So and uh, the likes of uh, Ethan Sparks, Ronnie Harris, really going to have to be uh, careful in these conditions and uh, making sure that uh, they're staying on and scoring those points for the championship. But it's going to be your championship leader, Ethan Sparks, who lines up on pole position ahead of Oli Horner. Philip Soroviak, a brilliant third place on the grid ahead of Blake Wilson, who we've seen uh, come into his own in the later stages of this race. Second place man in the championship, the number 66, Ronnie Harris, lines up in fifth spot ahead of Charlie Hunterford. Clayton Edmonds on the 146 in seventh, Harrison McKay in eighth, Harry Payne in ninth, and Samuel Munson, Munson uh, rounding out the top 10 on the grid. Casey Sperry, the number 20, he lines up in 11th spot on the grid ahead of Ollie Sims, Felix Dorling, and uh, Jacob Stevenson in 14th place. Noah Guillory, his first weekend on the MK GP50 machine, the number 14 he lines up in 15th spot ahead of uh, Isaiah Devine in 16th on the grid uh, so we're really excited for this one Gareth uh, and uh, very possibly could be seeing a battle for the championship brewing uh, hotter and hotter yep but Ronnie Harris has got to get himself past Blake Wilson Philip Soroviak and Ollie Horner and just yeah just special mention there to Philip Soroviak what a qualifying from him he picked up a best result back at Raro and that was fifth place but to qualify in third he's put himself in a brilliant position to pick up a podium this weekend but to do so, he's got to stay on two wheels and hold on to that man in front, Ethan Sparks, leading off from pole position. Watch out for a charging 66 bike, Ronnie Harris from fifth position. Harrison McKay in eighth place as well will always uh, is always good to watch as well. So, And uh, we know Clayton Edmonds does quite well in these greasy conditions. He's back on the 146 as they get ready to look to the lights to get ready for their first race of the weekend here at the MKGP 50s as the race one is about to begin here from Red Lodge. Lights on, pause, lights off and down towards turn one goes Ethan Sparks, holds on to the lead ahead of Ollie Horner. Philip Sorovac tries to go to the inside of Horner down in towards turn two. Unable to get the move done as you can see everyone very carefully making their way through. Ronnie Harris now gets himself up past Philip Sorovac into fourth position. Good start there from the 66. Already starting to make, make his way up into third position as well. Brilliant stuff from Ronnie. Already up into third place past Blake Wilson. So now he's just got to close in on Ollie Horner and then target man Ethan Sparks leading. Yeah, look how determined the number 66 of Ronnie Harris is. Round the outside through the first corner, making up as many positions as he possibly can. He wants to make sure he can get onto the back wheel of the number 62 of Ethan Sparks because it's all about the championship uh, in the closing stages of this season. See uh, loads of riders also uh, in, the, in the mix as well. Clayton Edmonds is made his way up in front of uh, Philip Soroviak and he's looking really strong right on the back wheel of Blake Wilson as well so uh, all these riders looking uh, to be uh, picking up as many points as possible in this one as they go down into the final corner for the, for the first time they come on to the first straight complete lap one and it's Ethan Sparks who leads ahead of Ollie Horner and Ronnie Harris who is fastest off of the line in third place uh, in this race currently is going to be looking to close down Ethan Sparks uh, and then uh, with Ethan of course looking to try and extend that championship lead and of course if we don't go to Clandau the next round uh, because of all the lockdown restrictions in Wales uh, it will be uh, Ethan Sparks uh, who might be able to win the championship in this race he needs to win the race and Ronnie needs to be uh, outside the top four but Ronnie doesn't look like he's going to be finishing anywhere outside the top four in this one no Ronnie Harris is on an absolute mission five wins 11 podiums on the season 
Clayton Edmonds, however, has made a brilliant start from seven positions. Now found himself up into uh, fourth place and closing in on Ronnie Harris. Now Clayton picked up a first win, well, first and only win. In fact, it's the only time he's been on the podium back at Wilton Mill. And we said that he's he does quite nicely in these greasy conditions. He's just got to keep it on two wheels as Ronnie Harris gets up past Ollie Horner into the final corner. So that's now Harris up behind championship uh, rival Ethan Sparks and Clayton Edmonds up the inside of Ollie. A brilliant move from the 146 there. Really opportunistic. Clayton Edmonds is coming alive in this one. Yeah, really impressed with that move there. Almost came from nowhere. We were looking at how Ronnie Harris made his way through and then Clayton Edmonds uh, just goes and impresses us there with a brilliant move there to pick up, to go up into third place. And now he's all over the rear wheel of Ronnie Harris. So Ronnie Harris really putting the afterburners on to try and catch up to Ethan Sparks. Uh, but he's going to also have to contend with Clayton Edmonds because Clayton is looking really menacing uh, in this one as he goes round the outside of the number 66. Ronnie Harris, brilliant move from Clayton Edmonds. And Clayton now will have his sights completely set on Ethan Sparks. Clayton Edmonds really a man to watch in this one with nine laps to go in the MK GP50 races. It was all about the battle for the championship between Ethan Sparks and Ronnie Harris. But Clayton Edmonds really coming into his own in this race and is absolutely flying out there. Gets a good drive onto the home straight. Has a look down into turn one can't quite make a move stick just yet he's got plenty of time to go doesn't have to make a move any time soon doesn't have to rush his way through but uh, you're going to be thinking he's going to be want to be taking that race lead yeah that bike looks on rails at the moment you obviously don't want to curse Clayton he's just gone fastest the only rider to go a one minute flat he was comfortably a second faster than race leader Ethan Sparks on that last lap and Clayton Edmonds looking very very good indeed he's got himself up from seventh on the grid into second down the back straight and the straight run not quite able to close in on Ethan but this is the section of the lap where Clayton starts to close and he gets a very good second half of the lap and uh, he's going to you can see closing in as they go through the exit into the S's and then just a few more corners to end this eighth lap as we go on seven to go but as you say plenty of racing left to go if you're Clayton Edmonds you don't want to make any rash moves too early and then allow yourself to be caught up later on he just needs to play his cards right here Ethan Sparks and him have made a breakaway ahead of Ronnie Harris who's falling away they've now dropped back almost two seconds behind as Blake Wilson and uh, Harris and McKay battle out of the uh, top five and top six positions there Ronnie Harris doesn't really have an answer for Clayton Edmonds at the moment no absolutely slow uh, Clayton Edmonds flying but Ethan Sparks has also uh, really upped his pace as well uh, going into the, the only rider in the 59s on that last lap for setting the fastest lap of the race on that last one so he's uh, responding to the place of, of Clayton Edmonds behind so you're gonna have to think this is going to be a battle between between these two for this race win and of course if Harris finishes outside the top four in this one uh, and we don't go to Glandau it will be Ethan Sparks that is the, your championship your your champion at the end of this race but of course we have to assume that round eight is going ahead because of course at the moment it is still going ahead but Ethan Sparks leading this one and possibly your championship winner in this class but Clayton Edmonds all over the rear wheel of him Charlie Huntingford there in there also battling it out with the uh, Ollie Sims and Sam Munson Harry Payne also in there uh, that is the battle further back for ninth place in this race Ollie Sims defending that ninth place from Charlie Huntingford Sam Munson and Harry Harry Payne. Harry Payne, a rider uh, who wasn't even expecting to be riding Metricates this year, but uh, doing really well. No, and uh, he uh, he's, he has done very well indeed and said that the reason why he got into riding is that he spoke to Glenn Irwin at uh, the motorbike show when he was much younger and uh, convinced his parents at the time to buy him a bike and he's been improving ever since. And it was great to see uh, on Harry's Instagram that Glenn Irwin got in touch as well and was very, uh, very uh, happy with the fact that uh, Harry puts him as a role model and an inspiration for why he got himself on the bike. Uh, but leading this one is still Ethan Sparks and and Clayton Edmonds, they've built themselves a 2.7 second advantage over Ronnie Harris, who's involved in a four-bike battle, fourth, third position. Ollie Horner, Blake Wilson, and Harrison McKay in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth position. And then a, a bit of a gap back to Casey Sperry in seventh, Philip Soroviak. But across the line, Clayton Edmonds goes purple, or 59-196. The gap between the top two is now two tenths of a second. Clayton trying to find a little bit more grip on an outside line, taking a bit more of a karting line there compared to bikes. Yeah, uh, yeah, really, really interesting to see the disparity in lines between these guys as they just come up uh, to some lap traffic. That's the number 90 of uh, Isaiah Devine that they're just going to have to make their way through nice and cleanly. Ethan Sparks makes his way through. Will Clayton Edmonds be able to do the same? He's going to try and get a good run onto the backstroke. 
straight, but now Ethan Sparks has managed to put a bike in between him and uh, Clayton Edmonds. This could really go in the favour of Ethan Sparks as Clayton Edmonds just struggling to get past the number 90 of his eye divine now makes his way through and now there's a little bit of breathing space for Ethan Sparks. So Clayton Edmonds is going to have to really put the afterburners on and see what he can do to get right back onto the back wheel of Ethan Sparks. So uh, this is uh, play really playing into hands of Ethan now. Five laps still to go in this one as they come across the line uh, and it'll be uh, four laps to go in this one. So he just gets underneath, underneath the number 41 of Noah Guillory. Noah, uh, a rider who's... Uh, a his first time on an MKGP 50 machine this weekend so uh, just learning the ropes in this class and they're uh, brilliant to see uh, the riders progressing through the ranks uh, of course Noah a rider we're used to seeing in the mini moto classes uh, in this championship as well but now uh, Blake Wilson all over the rear wheel of Ronnie Harrison and if Ronnie isn't careful uh, he could be could fall victim to Blake Wilson also Ollie Horner's in there as well yeah so this fight for third position is still going on Ronnie Harris needing to be picking up points because at the moment his championship rival is leading and will be extending that championship gap out by a quite a considerable margin a quick glance behind from Ethan Sparks and what does he see well he sees a very colorful Clayton Edmonds very close behind indeed Clayton's managed to catch back up after getting caught up in that lap traffic just a few laps previously and he's now right back on the rear tire of Ethan Sparks as they come on three laps left to go in this one it's the 62 versus the 146 Clayton does the fastest lap of the race a 58.5 seven four last time around a tenth of a second faster than Ethan and this is going to go right down to the wire not only for the race win but also for the podium Ronnie Harris desperately holding off Blake Wilson and Harrison McKay in third and fourth and fifth position yeah absolutely so you can see Blake Wilson all over the rear wheel of Ronnie Harris now he really wants to be picking up another podium in this one of course Wilson has had three podiums in the last four races so far and he's looking to pick up another one as he goes up the inside of Ronnie Harris in the far end of the circuit so that is now your Blake Wilson up into third but that's Ollie Horner that's gone down so that was your fifth place man in this race who's gone down and out of the race the number 70 tries to get restarted just uh, filling a lot with the um, with the throttle there so perhaps some problems there we're going to have to keep an eye on what happens there to the number 70 of Ollie Horner Clayton Edmonds sets the fastest lap of the race once more and now right back onto the back wheel of Ethan Sparks two laps to go in this one what can Clayton do about the number 62 of Ethan Sparks Blake Wilson the only rider into the 57s last time around so now he's got past Ronnie Harris he's starting to put those afterburners on so Blake Wilson now trying to get himself involved in this final lap and a half dash to the flag Ethan Sparks currently leading looking at picking up another win he's taken a he's got 50 percent win rate so far this season on the MKGP 50 bike it's uh, been a brilliant weekend he's taken a hat trick of wins at Rowery he's looking at making it four in a row here and uh, it's been a brilliant brilliant season so far for Ethan Sparks but if the uh, if the season ended now it's not a championship win for Ethan Sparks it is very much though a very happy Ethan Sparks going back into the panic with the uh, an extra points lead as Clayton takes to take a wider line in towards the first corner not able to close up any time as we go on to the final lap of this one Clayton Edmonds getting very racy indeed he's in the final lap flag he knows that he's just got 10 more corners after this one to get past Ethan Sparks and take his second win on the season not since Wilton Mill where he managed to pick up the race win ahead of Ronnie Harris but Ethan Sparks just with a few more corners to go as they go on to the straight run to hold on to a race win that he will be desperately hoping to find because he knows that Ronnie Harris is behind struggling to pick up points down in fourth position Clayton Edmonds still looking very very close indeed in fact closing in as they go into the final stages of this lap getting in a little bit deep and that's going to cost him over the next two corners which are slightly slower now onto the see uh, the simpson straight as they go down towards the final few corners it's gonna be ethan sparks looking at picking up another win on the season can clayton edmonds get a run on him around the outside as they come up to the line it's gonna be sparks up to the line clayton edmonds thumbs up he knows that was a great result from second position all the way up to second just couldn't quite close in on Ethan Sparks. Ethan just looking up he's under his helmet. He's probably thinking that was 
difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, brilliant win there from Ethan Sparks. Led from start to finish and had uh, plenty of pressure in the, in the likes of uh, Clayton Edmonds. Brilliant ride from Clayton, like I said, coming up from seventh all the way up to second place in this one. Ollie Horner also now crosses the line. He crossed the line in seventh place after crashing out. Really unfortunate for Ollie Horner, but uh, he'll be happy to be picking up points in this one anyway. Uh, and he knows he had the pace uh, to be in the top five and, and possibly even a podium in that one. But uh, brilliant podium as well for the number 108 of Blake Wilson, the rider who we've seen really come into his own in the later stages of this uh, championship. Of course, three podiums in the last four races, and now that is four podiums in the last five races uh, for Blake Wilson. So, yeah, brilliant to see uh, all these riders progressing uh, in this MKGP50 category. Of course, these riders learning all the time because this is the first taste they get at uh, geared bike machinery, and uh, absolutely brilliant to see from all of them. But it was Ethan Sparks then that took the win. Your championship leader takes a Another win in his 2020 campaign ahead of Clayton Edmonds in second. Blake Wilson with another podium in third uh, with uh, Ronnie Harris in fourth spot. Harrison McKay took fifth ahead of Casey Sperry in seventh. Ollie Horner after crashing out finished in seventh place ahead of Harry Payne the number 11 in eighth. Philip Saraviak was down in ninth ahead of uh, a good top 10 finish there from Ollie Sims. Yep, but what a result there from Ethan Sparks. Ethan Sparks exactly what he needed to do extend that gap over Ronnie Harris in the championship championship with Ronnie only able to pick up fourth position. That's only 13 points. Well, the 62 will be looking at making it a double in just a few races. And uh, if he wins, he's champion. If he's second, Ronnie Harris in the 66 needs to win to take it to a third race decider. Uh, but even then, it's very much stacked in the uh, the hand of Ethan Sparks. And uh, equally, Ethan, he just needs to outscore Ronnie Harris by three single points with that gap at 48 points. So three points extra for Ethan Sparks will wrap up the M. KGP50 Championship, and it's another championship that Ethan has been absolutely sublime in. Not finished lower than fifth position all season. He had a 50% win rate coming into this weekend. He took a hat-trick back at Rara and uh, he extended that lead yesterday with Ronnie Harris not having the greatest of races, fighting outside of the podium. Uh, with, of course, you had the likes of Blake Wilson and Clayton Edmonds on the podium, so not a great result for Ronnie Harris. Worst possible start to his weekend. However, if you're Ethan Sparks, delighted with that. Yeah, ab absolutely so. Ethan Sparks got a very comfortable uh, margin at the front of this championship. Of course, we'll only need uh, 20, a 25-point lead going into race three, so uh, very likely it will be seeing Ethan Sparks crowned champion in this one but uh, anything can happen in racing of course it can but uh, of course he's got to keep it on two wheels doing exactly what we uh, saw from Eddie O'Shea in the previous race the extreme 200 but the, uh, the black and orange the 62 of Ethan Sparks will roll into pole position and he's in a prime position to uh, to take this one because championship rival Ronnie Harris has got some work to do from fifth on the grid the 66 he has got so much work to do a lot of pressure on the 66 can he close in? It's going to be ever so close. 401 provisional points for Ethan Sparks. Ronnie Harris back on 353. It's going to be a lot of work if you're Ronnie Harris to try and close in. And then the battle for third position in the championship is still going on between Harrison McKay and Ollie Horner. So uh, Ollie will be looking at uh, wrapping up the uh, third position in that championship. He'll be lining up in second alongside your pole man and uh, current championship leader. Leader Ethan Sparks. What can Ethan do from the pole? Can he make it to championships on both the mini bikes and on the Metrikit GP50? He has a quick glance around him, just getting in the zone. Now, Tristan, this is going to be a massive race. Yeah, absolutely. So Ethan Sparks doesn't need to do a lot to win it in this one, but he's going to be lining up from pole position. So he's in the perfect place to take that championship victory. Ollie Horner, it will be on the number 70 machine in second place. And uh, Philip Sraviak in third on the grid. Blake Wilson, the number 108, will line up in fourth ahead of Ronnie Harris, second man in place man in the championship in fifth. Charlie Huntingford will be in sixth place ahead of the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds in seventh. Very fast in the wet watch out for him. The number 61 of Harrison McKay lines up in eighth place on the grid ahead of Harry Payne in ninth. Samuel Munson, the 72, is in tenth place and rounding out the top ten. The number 20 of Casey Sperry in eleventh spot on the grid ahead of Ollie Sims in twelfth. Felix Dawling in thirteenth with Jacob Stevenson, the number 67, in fourteenth on the grid. The number 41 of Noah Guillory lines up in fifteenth place on the grid with the number 90 of Isaiah Devine 
rounding out your grid in 16th spot on this grid. But Ethan Sparks, what can he do in this race? Just needs to finish in front of Ronnie Harris to win this one. Just needs a 25-point advantage going into race three. And with a 48-point advantage now, it's... Uh, it's uh, you definitely say you've got, you'd have your money on Ethan. Yeah, unfortunately, if you're Ronnie Harris, you could really do with a non-finish for the 62 to give him a shot going into race three. So it's going to be a tight and testy affair. What will it be? Will it be a good start from the pole man, Ethan Sparks? Ollie Horner, watch out for him. He's had some really good starts so far this season. Philip Sorovyak, best qualifying results so far of the season in third position. Blake Wilson has come alive at the end of this one. He's in fourth as they get ready to look to the lights for the second race of the weekend for the MKGP 50s. Lights on, lights off, and down towards turn one. It's a good start from Ethan Sparks. Sweeps up through into turn one. Ollie Horner maintains second position. Blake Wilson is trying to hold on to third. Clayton Edmonds once again. A brilliant start from the 146. Sweeping from seventh into third by the end of the third corner. Yeah, brilliant. Up the inside through into turn two. And they're picking up positions as he goes through this first lap. Number 66 of Ronnie Harris quite far down this order. He's going to have to be thinking about this championship. He's going to be wanting to try and take it to the race three. And he has to finish in front of Ethan Sparks to be able to do that. But he's uh, quite a way away from the number 62 at the moment with... Uh, uh, Ethan just pulling away at the front of this one. Blake Wilson there in second place. But now that's Clayton Edmonds up the inside of Blake Wilson. So Clayton Edmonds now up into second place in this race. We'll have to wait and see what he can do. Will he be able to catch Ethan Sparks? He's already on his back wheel. And you'd have to say he's looking really good at the start of this race. Uh, Ronnie Harris now up ahead of Ollie Horner. And he's going to be looking to close down on Blake Wilson. So now Ronnie Harris uh, up into fourth place in this race. But it's the number 62 of Ethan Sparks that leads ahead of the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds with Blake Wilson currently in third. Clayton is going to be looking to try and get his win in this race yesterday after just losing out to Ethan yesterday. Yeah, this is what we saw yesterday. We saw Ethan Sparks and Clayton Edmonds really just disappear and fight for this race lead. Clayton just didn't quite find the gap to send that 146 down the inside, but this time around he's looking very racy indeed. Ethan just knows he needs to finish ahead of Ronnie Harris, who's now in fourth position after getting past uh, Ollie Horner on that last lap. And uh, Ollie Horner now dropping down behind Harrison McKay into uh, sixth position. So not a great start to Ollie Horner, who started from second on the grid. Ronnie Harris doesn't quite have the pace in these early stages. We know that Ronnie does tend to come alive later on in the race, but he needs to start closing in. However, race lead change, and it's Clayton Edmonds that's now up into the this one. Ethan Sparks down into second. In fact, falling into the clutches of Blake Wilson in third position. So this might open the door if Ethan has to start paying attention to what's going on behind him to Ronnie Harris closing in because Ronnie knows that he needs to take points off of Ethan Sparks. However, brilliant start from Clayton Edmonds from seventh on the grid to the lead in just three laps. Yeah, brilliant start from uh, Clayton Edmonds. Exactly the start to the race he will have wanted. 0.6 of a second is the uh, gap he has over Ethan Sparks and it was uh, last time across the line I believe. Uh, we have uh, Isaiah Devine who's gone down in the number 90 machine at turn two and there he is on our screens. That's Isaiah Devine down and out of this race gets back on and looks to rejoin in this race uh, but uh, looking back at Ronnie Harris battling out with Harrison McKay uh, that's the battle for fourth and fifth a little bit of a gap between Blake Wilson in third and Ronnie Harris so it's looking like it's going to be a tall order for Ronnie Harris to finish on the podium in this one we're going to have to wait and see how that one goes out also a battle brewing really nicely between the number 20 of Casey Sperry Philip Swarovic and Sam Munson that's the battle for seventh place going on but now Blake Wilson right on the rear wheel uh, of the number 62 of Ethan Sparks and you can see now this provisional uh, live championship is Ethan Sparks on 421 points ahead of Ronnie Harris and that will be enough to win him the championship if it stays like this. Yep and uh, it is a big result for Ethan Sparks if so he needs to uh, just stay ahead of Ronnie Harris. You can see Ronnie Harris now falling behind Harrison McKay into fifth position so worst case scenario if you are the 66 and uh, you spoke to him on Friday and he said that he felt like he lost the championship back, back at Wilson Mill when he went down and non-scored in race two and unfortunately it looks as though he just hasn't been able to pick up those results he needed to close in on Ethan Sparks but you, that's not taking anything away from Ethan who once again like we've seen in the AC40 Pros has had a sublime season however it's Clayton Edmonds leading this one that is really enjoying these greasy conditions yeah but he's not running away with this one Ethan Sparks set the fastest lap of the race on that last lap with a 55.2 and that was uh, considerably quicker than uh, Clayton Edmonds on that last lap so now 
Ethan is responding and is getting back onto the rear wheel of Clayton Edmonds, but also Blake Wilson is going with them as well. So this is turning into a three rider battle for the win, uh, but a little bit of a gap they have to Blake Wilson at the moment. So he's going to have to try and get onto the back of these guys, but it's between these two at the moment. They're just coming round uh, to lap Isaiah Devine, who unfortunately went down at turn two uh, earlier on in this race. So they're going to have to find their way through nice and cleanly. There's Harrison McKay and the number 66 of Ronnie Harris, second place man in the championship. And he's just watching that championship slip away as Ethan Sparks is at the front of this race with the number 146 of Edmonds. And that's the number 90 of Isaiah Devine that's gone down again. So that's two crashes uh, in the space of a lap. So not what Isaiah Devine would have wanted at all. Really unfortunate for the number 90 rider. But back at the front, it's number 146. Clayton Edmonds still leading this one ahead of Ethan Sparks, your championship leader. Yep, it's an unfortunate fall for Devine, but it has still kept the, the track is still green, which means it's still Clayton Edmonds versus Ethan Sparks for the leader. This one, Ronnie Harris, who was needing to finish ahead of uh, Ethan Sparks is back in fifth position behind Harrison McKay. Clayton Edmonds is doing a stellar job so far. Blake Wilson, I, we, we were talking before that he's had a brilliant end to the season. Four podiums in the last five races for the 108 machine. And uh, once again, in a, a, at the moment, a relatively comfortable third position. Harrison McKay, three seconds off of him. But uh, Blake, a very good run so far from the young man. Yeah, absolutely so. In a re real strong third position in this race. Uh, he is going to have to make sure that uh, Harrison McKay doesn't get the best of him because we saw how quick Harrison was yesterday in the GP70s in the wet winning it uh, by uh, by almost eight seconds I believe it was and now he's catching up to Blake Wilson as well as uh, Clayton Edmonds still leading from Ethan Sparks Blake Wilson in third with Harrison McKay in fourth Ronnie Harris dropping back into fifth position Casey Sperry brilliant run so far from Sperry right coming up from 11 from the grid into sixth position but uh, it is still that gap at the lead between Edmonds and Sparks and it's uh, it's good well what you can see the live championship is currently 4-2-1 for Ethan Sparks 3-6-4 for Ronnie Harris which would confirm Ethan Sparks as your 2020 MK GP50 champion, his second championship of the day here at this time on the metric at the GP50 bike. The rain is starting to come down pretty heavily, so it's going to make this track a lot harder to navigate. Of course, the rain will be getting on the visors of these riders, and uh, as they head around Senna into turn two, Clayton Edmonds leads from Ronnie Harris. Blake Wilson is now being joined by the battle between Harrison McKay and Ronnie Harris. We've now got entire well, the top five all within ice shot of each other. Yeah, absolutely so, and that's uh, why we love the MK GP50 class. Always great racing in this class, but it's uh, Clayton Edmonds still leading ahead of Ethan Sparks. Ethan doesn't need to risk anything in this race. He doesn't need to go out and pick up 25 points because he just needs to finish in front or even behind Ronnie Harris, uh, and he'll have this championship in the bag. But Clayton Edmonds leading this one very well, defending his line as well. He's got a little bit of breathing space now ahead of Ethan Sparks, just stretching the field out a little bit. 55.9 on that last lap, which was just... Uh, about half a second quicker than Ethan on that last lap but uh, we know how quick Ethan can be in these wet weather conditions he did set the fastest lap of the race earlier on he's looking to regroup that time as well but there is the number 66 Ronnie Harris second place man in the championship just watching his championship slip away with Ethan Sparks out the front in second place 48 points it was going into this one he only needs 25 points going into race three but it is the number 62 of Ethan Sparks following the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds at the moment in this one. Still three laps to go in this race. So who's it going to be? Who's going to take the first win of the day for the MK GP 50s? It was Ethan Sparks from Clayton Edmonds yesterday, but will Clayton be able to take that one away from him in this one? Yep, is uh, Clayton's looking for his second win on the season. Not since Wilson Mill have we seen the 146 step on the top step of the podium. This time around, he's looking as though he's uh, got a good chance at it. He's got to finish ahead of what looks to be your uh, your well coming into being a champion in the MKGP 50s and that is Ro um, Ethan Sparks and Sparks is still staying with Edmonds is getting close however Clayton just seems to have an answer for Ethan Sparks every time around they come on to the penultimate lap of their second race of the weekend one more to go later on this afternoon and it's going to be Clayton Edmonds from Ethan Sparks Blake Wilson still in a solid third position he's got Harrison McKay and Ronnie Harris behind him as they all come around uh, to start their 
there. We're halfway through the penultimate lap. Sam Munson is back in uh, in eighth position in the battle between himself, Philip Sroviak. Ollie Sims is in there as well. And Ollie uh, running in the top 10 once again, which is good for Ollie because he's moved up from 12th into 10th. And they're closing in on Ollie Horner, who's not really had the best of races on the uh, on the number 70 machine. And in fact, he gets past the uh, the lap traffic of Isaiah Devine. And now onto the back of Casey Sperry. Casey, who's having a very good run all the way up from 11th into 6th. And, um, yeah, disappointment for Oli Horner. He was looking very strong in qualifying. Yeah, absolutely so. Uh, Oli Horner just struggling in these wet weather conditions. A rider we're used to seeing at the front battling for podiums and, uh, and even wins. Uh, still hasn't, hasn't been able to pick up any wins this season, but has managed to get himself up on to the podium. But a man that has been able to pick up wins is the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds and looking strong to pick up his second win of the season in this race two for the MKGP 50s. And just half a lap to go for Ethan Sparks for him to be crowned the 2020 MKGP 50 champion but it's uh, Clayton Edmonds looking strong to take the win in this one as they go on to head onto the back straight for the final time the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds there was with uh, his family was saying yesterday that he has webbed feet today and he's proven it in this one because he's been flying in these wet weather conditions through the final corner for the final time comes Clayton Edmonds he is your race two winner here for the MKGP 50s but it is Ethan Sparks who is your 2000 2020 MKGP 50 champion. Two championships in one day for the number 62 of Ethan Sparks and he looks delighted with that one. Brilliant, a brilliant weekend for the number 62 of Ethan Sparks and a well-deserved championship victory. Ethan Sparks was standing up coming across the line and what a result. What a championship for him. That's two championships in one day. He's done it on the mini motos. He's now done it on the MK. GP50 bike and Ethan Sparks what a ride from the young man from Maidstone he has deserved that one did exactly what was needed didn't manage to pick up the win like we saw yesterday however this time around as second place is enough to wrap up a brilliant championship well done Ethan Sparks you are the 2020 MK GP50 champion however and we have to go back what a result Clayton Edmonds we saw him stop at the exit of turn one his dad came running over and he was delighted with that brilliant brilliant run Clayton Evans from seventh into the win so uh, what a result from Clayton however that's the man of the moment it's Ethan Sparks your champion for 2020 a brilliant year for Ethan Sparks, uh, but uh, who's going to be able to stick it to him in this one? The likes of Ronnie Harris, Ollie Horner, Blake Wilson, Philip Soroviak, the Clayton Edmonds, who's very fast in the wet and picked up a win earlier on. They're all going to be looking to get one on the 2020 MKGP 50 champion in this final race of the year for the GP 50s. And there he is, the number 62, looking real confident on pole position before this race. As they head around for their final warm-up lap of the season, the MKGP50s. Ethan Sparks lines up on pole position alongside Ollie Horner. Philip Sorvia, best qualifying result of the season in third place with Blake Wilson, who's picked up so many podiums in the last few races, five in the last six races, with Ronnie Harris in fifth position. Charlie Huntsford in sixth with Clayton Edmonds, race winner in race two and second place in race one. He will look very strong from seventh position. Harrison McKay in eighth place with Harry Payne in ninth. Sam Munson in tenth with Casey Sperry on row six with Ollie Sims in 11th and 12th. Then you've got Felix Dorling and Jacob Stevenson on row seven in 13th and 14th. From rounding out the grid on row eight, you've got Noah Guillory and Ezra Devine in 15th and 16th position. However, this will be very much, I can imagine, uh, the battle with Ethan Sparks trying to make up a, a second win and finish off his season on a high in both the pros and the mini, uh, mini motos and the metric kits. However, watch out for Clayton Edmonds. The 146 has been sensational around Red Lodge in these slippery conditions. He will be going from seven from the grid. We've seen him make some astronomical starts in the opening two, two races of this weekend. Let's see what he can do in that 146. All these riders are going to be looking to end their seasons on a high. Of course, won't be racing again until 2021, with this being the final race 
for the MKGP50. So they're all going to be looking to pick up as many points and the best position possible here as they look to the lights for the final time this year. Ethan Sparks starting from pole position. It's a good start from your 2020 champion. Got a good bit of breathing space into turn one. Ollie Horner loses a place there to Blake Wilson as they head into turn one. Down into turn two for the first time. Blake Wilson right on the rear wheel of Ethan Sparks. Now Clayton Edmonds trying to make up some positions on the number 146 bike. We saw him flying through the field uh, in, earliest, in the, the earlier race in race two. Came up to catch Ethan Sparks and win the race. What will he be able to do this time? Harrison McKay around the outside of Ollie Horner through there. Also Ronnie Harris now up into third. He's going to be looking to end his season on a high after losing out to the championship to Ethan Sparks. Yeah, and uh, Ronnie Harris, much better start from the 66 so far compared to what we've seen so far this weekend. He uh, has not had the greatest of weekends here at Red Lodge, but he'll be wanting, as you say, to finish off the season very much. Uh, a little bit of recompense after losing out in a championship. But uh, Blake Wilson in second position, once again, doing very nicely indeed. Harrison McKay looking very strong in third. Clayton Edmonds will be coming across the line in fifth position. Harrison McKay is the, had the fastest up of 57.491. Ethan Sparks, however, leading this one away from... From Blake Wilson, Ronnie Harris, Harrison McClay, Clayton Evans, Ollie Horner dropping back from second to sixth position. So once again, first laps have not been Ollie Horner's forte this weekend. Absolutely not. He just seems to be struggling as well in these wet weather conditions. We've seen how fast he is in the drives. Picked up podiums, pole positions, uh, all sorts. Has the, no, the uh, number 70 of Ollie Horner and a rider that we'll be looking out for next year as Harrison McKay goes up the inside of Ronnie Harris and Clayton Edmonds as well up the inside of the number 66. So Ronnie Harris losing two positions in one corner there. So dropping from third down to fifth place. And they've all caught the number 62 of Ethan Sparks. So this is a big Big six were five way battle for the lead in this race at the moment. It's Ethan Sparks, Blake Wilson, Harris McKay, Clayton Edmonds, and Ronnie Harris just on the back of these guys. Any one of these guys can take this final win of the year, and you, they're going to all want it. It is the final race of the year here for the MK GP 50s. They all want to finish this season on a high, and they're all locked in a battle here for this final win of the year. Last time out, it was Clayton Edmonds. He's looking strong in this one right on the rear wheel of Harrison McKay who picked up a win yesterday in the MK GP 70s can he do it as well in the GP 50s he, uh, Clayton Edmonds looks to the inside can't make a move stick there but, but down into turn seven does make a move stick on the number 61 of Harrison McKay so brilliant stuff from the number 146 of Clayton Edmonds looking to pick up the second win of the day yep he's now up into a podium position is Clayton Edmonds and once again we can see the 146 bike having a brilliant time out there. Does he get the run down the main straight alongside Blake Wilson? Not quite close enough. Ethan Sparks has built a little bit of a gap. It's now half a second, but here comes Clayton Edmonds to the inside of Blake Wilson. Up into second position, you see Blake just that sits up a little bit and unbalances Harrison McKay, who had to get out of the throttle, but uh, Clayton Edmonds now up into second. Now, this is going to be the battle between Clayton Edmonds and Ethan Sparks. We've seen it so far for the opening two rounds. Who will take the overall class win? Who will take the overall, the race win for this one? It's going to be Ethan Sparks. It's going to be Clayton Edmonds. Well, we spoke to uh, Clayton's parents yesterday, and they said he's got wet feet. He loves it out there when it's wet. Well, he's proving it. He's moved up from seventh position up into second position once again. It's a brilliant weekend so far for Clayton. It's exactly the weekend that Clayton will have wanted to end this season on here for the 2020 Fab Racing Mini Bike British Championships. He's all over the rear wheel of the number 62 of Ethan Sparks. And with seven laps to go as they come across the line once more, who's it going to be? Will it be Ethan Sparks? Will it be Clayton Edmonds? Also, Blake Wilson still very much in this battle and Harrison McKay. Ronnie Harris now has just dropped off the back of these guys slightly. So he just needs to be able to regroup and see if he can get back onto this battle for post and for the win but it is Ethan Sparks still holding on to this lead now Clayton Edmonds just following Ethan for this bit just studying just seeing where he can get past but these these two have seen each other quite a bit this weekend battling both in race one and in race two it was Sparks that took it in race one it was Edmonds that took it in race two who's it going to be in race three or will we see a surprise like Blake Wilson or Harrison McKay any one of them can get it but but uh, Clayton Edmonds with a good drive 
out onto the back straight, but not close enough to make a move into the final corner. They've completed one more lap. It's going to be six to, to, six to go as they come across the line. A good drive out of the final corner there for Clayton Edmonds. They've gapped Blake Wilson ever so slightly on that last lap, and Clayton Edmonds with the fastest lap of the race on that last lap. Still six laps to go. We're just over 50% of the way through this final race of the season, the MK GP 50s. It's Ethan Sparks leading from Clayton Edmonds, Blake Wilson and Harris McKay in third and fourth with Ronnie Harris in fifth. Ollie Sims, brilliant run so far for Ollie. Finds himself in sixth position after moving up from 12, so much better from Ollie. And uh, he's having a really good run in the battle with Sam Munson and Casey Sperry. Ollie Horner having dropped to ninth from Philip Soroviak back in 10th position ahead of Harry Payne and Jacob Stevenson. But it is still that battle going on between Sparks and Edmonds for the lead in this one. Clayton just trying to find that right point to uh, send the bike up the inside. We can see him almost touching the curbs, which is a big no-no at the moment. They're very slippery indeed. We've seen a couple of bikes go down. They're almost like sheet ice, but he's going to think about it going into uh, turn two. Can Clayton get along the inside? Ethan covers off that inside apex, but uh, once again, Clayton just trying to find his way around, try and find the weak point. So Ethan's really going to start having to ride that bike defensively, and it's going to cost him some time. Ethan Sparks with the fastest lap of the race on that last lap and very, very close times between the top two on that last lap. A 54.524 for Ethan Sparks and a 54.527 for Clayton Edmonds, so absolutely matched for pace at the front of this race. They now have a 1.66 second lead over Blake Wilson in this one. So now it is a battle between the front two, but that's Sam Munson that's gone down the number 72, and it looks as if there's bits hanging off of that bike. He's going to try and get it restarted and back into the race, but not the way he will have wanted his season to end in this MK GP 50 Championship. He does get restarted and back into this race, but these two. Out the front Clayton Edmonds all over the rear wheel of Ethan Sparks he's going to be looking to try and make a move at some point still three and a half laps to go as Harrison McKay makes his way around the number 41 of Noah Guillory Noah just this weekend having his first go out on an MK GP 50 so you're going to be thinking that's what he's going to be eyeing up to, to be competing in next year yeah and it's good to see these riders making their way up and just testing themselves on these bigger bikes and seeing what their pace is like and it will be good for him going into next season with a, a little bit more experience experience compared to what he would have had if he just went in fresh in the 2021 season and uh, doing what we see a number of riders do and just spending the last few rounds getting a, a little bit of experience in the higher up categories. Ethan Sparks however still holding off Clayton Edmonds as they come around to start three laps left to go they're side by side but Ethan just about holding on to this one Clayton's looking very strong into the first corner can he get along the inside Ethan just about holding him off there you could see covering off the last opportunity but Clayton's going try and go around the outside and sweep into the 180. Not quite close enough this time, but Clayton Edmonds is look very racy. He takes the tighter line. They're side by side and Clayton takes the lead. What a move there from the 146 as they go on to turn seven at the Warren and down the back straight, the straight run. Clayton Edmonds had to work for that one, but he made it stick and it worked perfectly. And a big moment for uh, the number 62 of Ethan Sparks coming out on to that back straight. He just went a little bit wide, had a little bit of a wobble and then just found himself on the grass and that has lost him a lot of time now so now Clayton Edmonds has quite a bit of an advantage now over Ethan Sparks and Ethan almost coming into the clutches of Blake Wilson now as well so Ethan Sparks just needs to regroup and try and get back on to the pace but he's losing a lot of time now and Blake Wilson is right on him and Harrison McKay is in there as well so uh, Ethan Sparks could very well be seeing himself off of the podium here Blake Wilson can sniff a second place in this final race and so can Harrison McKay look how racy he's looking on the back of these guys so this is hotting up really nicely only two laps to go Clayton Edmonds has a 2.4 second advantage so he's absolutely flying out the front of this one he's looking to make it two wins from two here today and pick up the final race win of the season that'll be his third race win of the year as well but one and a half laps to go who's going to take that second place well Blake Wilson will be eyeing up second position he's picked up five out of six podiums in the last few eight or five out of six 
podiums the last six races, so uh, he'll be wanting to make it more. Third has been his best so far. He wants second. He can see Ethan Sparks, your 2020 champion. As down goes Wilson at the final corner. Just loses it on the throttle and unfortunately takes the bike around right in the middle of the circuit. Everyone else having to get around. You can see so frustrated for Blake Wilson. He knew that a podium was on for him there, but he's going to have to get back on the bike. He's dropped behind Ollie Sims into sixth position now. So that promotes Harrison McKay up into third position and Ronnie Harris into fourth. Ollie Sims all the way up into fifth position now. Yeah, really good uh, result for uh, Ollie Sims if he can keep it like this on this final lap. But Clayton Edmonds has been so dominant in the wet here at Red Lodge. He's been he's come flying through the field from seventh on the grid, made his way all the way he's made all the way up to Ethan Sparks, and now he's going to come and win this final race of the year for the MKGP50s. Comes into the final corner for the final time on that GP50 machine. Comes across the line and takes the final win of the year. Goes to the number 146 Clayton Edmonds with a brilliant win two wins from two here today and Ethan Sparks your uh, 2020 champion will come across the line in second Harrison McKay in third Ronnie Harris in fourth and a brilliant fifth place for Ollie Sims but battles still going on here Philip Soroviak trying to fend off the number 70 of Ollie Horner Philip Soroviak will come across the line to pick up a ninth in that, in that race just ahead of Ollie Horner and what a final race we had there Gareth yeah what a result for so many of those riders there. Clayton Edmonds takes two wins from three, a second place in race one as well, which means he is your overall class winner for the MKGP 50s this weekend. Well done, Clayton. What a weekend from him. Easily his best weekend on the season. And uh, you can see everyone giving a wave there to uh, everyone that's helping out the paddock and, of course, the marshals. Ollie Sims, however, punching the air as he came across the line in fifth position. A brilliant result all the way out from 12th on the grid into fifth position there. But Ethan Sparks, your 20 20 champion in second position but it is Clayton Edmonds who takes the win four seconds ahead of 2020 champion Ethan Sparks Harrison McKay up into third with Ronnie Harris in fourth Ollie Sims finishing in fifth after Blake Wilson span on the penultimate lap and fell out into sixth position uh, Harry Payne moving up into seventh which is really good from Harry there uh, he had a really good run on the metric GP50s this, this season Philip Soroviak in eighth with Ollie Horner in ninth and Jacob Stevenson rounding out the top 10 with Felix Dorling and Noah Guillory in 11th and 12th. Unfortunately, we lost Sam Munson, uh, Casey Sperry and Isaiah Devine. But um, yeah, as Ethan Sparks, your 2020 MKGP50 champion, heads around for his celebration lap here on the Metro Kit GP50. We saw him do the sim a similar thing on the Mini Moto AC40 Pro earlier on. And well, once again, he's deserved this championship, hasn't he, Tristan? Because he's been sensational, not finished lower than fifth all season. He's taken, once again, in the same as the same berth as what he did in the AC40s, he's taken a 50% win rate over the season. Patrick Herrera, he's been up in the top end of the one, uh, well, top, well, top one and two, two second positions this weekend. He's been brilliant this season. And that hat trick at Rara makes him the only rider in this category to take three wins from three in any uh, round here for, for the 2020 Fab Racing Minibike British Championships for the MKGP 50s. Picks, picked up a win and two seconds here this weekend, and that's enough to win him the championship. And he comes, he goes home as a 2020 double champion here in the Fab Racing Minibike British Championships. He's got his eyes set on the uh, British Talent Cup, and uh, next year we'll be hoping to see him move that, make that step up into the MKGP 70s, and he's definitely going to be a name to watch.